Surround my bones in fire, on top the wooden pyre. Finally lay me to rest, before my one last test. This clue has a couple of steps that we need to do. First we need to go to the ancient cavern and kill a confused barbarian to receive the mangled bones drop. Then we take those mangled bones and create a pyre and sacrifice the bones to spawn the ferocious barbarian spirit, which we need to kill to get our next clue or casket. Uh, both NPCs are melee, so if you have protect from melee, you won't receive any damage. However, we are going to run by a couple of brutal green dragons, so if you're afraid to die and bring some anti-dragon gear, such as the shield, uh, but you should be fine. And then also we need to create the pyre, and that requires an axe, um, some logs, and a tinderbox. And do note that depending on your crafting and fire making level, the log you use to create the pyre does make a difference. So if you have low levels, which I've provided on screen, the logs that you can use, um, crafting and fire making are the levels you need to have. If you have low crafting and low fire making, you're going to need to bring a lower level log. Um, also, we do need to have access to the ancient cavern which is just south of the Barbarian Outpost. And to gain access to the Ancient Cavern, you need to have completed the Barbarian Training uh, minigame. So make sure you do that if you are unable to gain access. And then I bring range gear because it's super easy to range these monsters. Um, then also bring another teleport out to go back to Barbarian Outpost because it's easier to get out of the cavern by teleporting to the Barbarian Outpost and running back here and it is to use the exit method in the outpost, which is going to bring us very far south around here. So it's just quicker to, to bring that teleport. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Again, I am just south of the Barbarian Outpost on this bridge, and I'm going to dive into Whirlpool. And then once you get into the Whirlpool, if you want to put on your anti-dragon shield, go ahead and do that. And you don't need to do it just yet, because when you spawn, you're in a safe area. But go ahead and put it on before you climb down the stairs. And then we're going to run immediately south. So put on that shield, and then run south. Run past the water fiends. Run past that brutal green dragon. And then just to our west, there's this little, little area right here. Um, and this is where you kill the barbarians. Now, if the green dragon is still attacking you, uh, it, you can kind of camp in this area, maybe like this square right here, and then just top worlds, um, and then kill the Confused Barbarian in the other area. Um, but the Barbarians themselves aren't too difficult to kill. They have a low defense. As you can see, I forgot to put my blowpipe on, and I was still killing it. So kill the Confused Barbarian. And then when he dies, he's going to drop those mangled bones, pick them up. and then teleport back to Barbarian, Barbarian Outpost. And if you don't have a teleport, if you go north, there's a log that you can take out, or you can do a home teleport. Now run south. Again, make sure you have your axe, your logs, and your tinderbox. We're going to create that pyre now. So run south, uh, similar to where we were before, and I'll pull up the map just so you know exactly. Uh, right here, again, we teleport to the Barbarian Outpost. Right where I'm at, we can construct a pyre site. Go ahead and construct pyre site. After this little animation, the ferocious Barbarian Spirit is going to spawn. And go ahead and put Protect from Melee back on. Kill the ferocious Barbarian Spirit, and it will drop the clue or casket for you. And that is how you do this clue step. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps motivate me to grow uh, my channel and also post more videos like this. I also have a Discord, which you can find in the description if you'd like to join and chat with me. And I'm going to go ahead and finish off this kill just to show you the full clip of me doing this step. I'm confirming that killing this thing will drop a clue or casket. And there you go. Again, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you all in my next video.